Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. There are some hot products uh, here at the ACA that I think you're going to be interested in and I wanted to go ahead and feature them in a follow-up video to that live telecast we had earlier. So let's take a look at these products. Tell me what you think in the uh, in the comment section below and uh, these are some products that I think uh, certainly you can use. Let's start off with uh, a look at some food some food that uh, Cobalt, Cobalt Aquatics is releasing that I think is going to be a pretty hot product. And uh, let's take a look at that now. So I'm here with a Cobalt, and what is your name? Viral Cerati. Viral Cerati. Co-founders of Cobalt. Co-founder of Cobalt, yeah. Cobalt Aquatics, you can see it there. And they're launching a new food that uh, you guys are going to be really interested in because it is for cichlids. You can see it right here. So the idea of this food is a little bit different than the rest of the world. 100% uh, natural, so no chemicals, no colors, no anything that you don't need in the fish food. Uh, one thing that it's not going to clog up my water. No, and and the other thing is highly digestible because when you have pro and prebiotics in it, probiotics is basically think of Activia yogurt for your fish. Nice. So it helps the bacteria growth in the body or in their intestines grow. Very important for cichlids because you hear bloat. Yep. Well, that yep. will help that problem. Very and nice. the second thing is the prebiotics. So we're the only fish food on the market that offers both uh, that in the fish food. Right there. Now, why, what's the prebiotics? What so that mean? prebiotics is not really an organism. So the probiotics, actual bacteria, are being probiotic. Prebiotics actually a food source for bacteria that's already in the gut to help it flourish faster. So now you got two things going on. You're adding bacteria, and then you're adding prebiotics, a food source for bacteria. So the other thing, I mean, beyond, you can see the nice packaging. Those are all the different stuff that's in the ingredients list. And how is it on uh, protein versus fat and fillers? How is that? How is that? Well, uh, very little. Forty-four. Uh, okay, I get it. Forty-four percent protein, and its primary ingredient is sword prawn, and it's fresh sword prawn that is grinded up and put into the food. Nice. So fish are high quality product. Yeah, absolutely. And if you look at, I don't know if you can check out the ingredients list on there. Um, they can also go to Cobalt Aquatics. It's got the full ingredients list as well. Nothing like it on the market. Um, typically, the way we describe it is within two weeks, your fish will actually look better, feel better, and more active. And that's how you tell what's a good fish food. That's how you tell. Well, and, and if I had a dollar for every time I've heard somebody complaining about bloat. Yes, you yes. Know, and that's, that's a horrible killer for the fish. Yeah, absolutely. Anything can help in that area. And, and it's a different approach in every way because the idea, if you look at this, actually I'll open one of these up. It actually looks like coffee grounds because there's no colors. Like you see a lot of pellets out there that are like red. Oh, nice. Now if what you is that, like a one millimeter? Yeah, this one is, uh, can't see that on there? What does that say? It's, uh, One point something. Yeah, that's a point six. Yeah, point yeah, it's a six. Small pellet. So this so is sinking in. So you can feed this to any size uh, yep. cichlid, yeah? Absolutely. And smell this. I know the people out there can't smell it, but yeah, uh, if go. you smell it. Oh, yeah. Actually, it doesn't smell bad. It yeah, it's fresh, good. right? That yeah. fresh smell yeah. that you want, like fresh seafood. It doesn't smell rancid at all. Yeah, no. And that's the, the key to all of fish food is if it smells bad to us, that means it's bad to the fish. So yeah. um, definitely we're giving these away at the show. So if you're coming to the show, Stop by the Cobalt booth and you get a free sample of some of this there stuff you go, and try guys. it out for you yourself. You heard it here. Come All get right. your food from Cobalt. Sounds All good. Right. Thanks, Thank guys. Thanks. I'm going to be releasing a video that's going to be two weeks of feeding that food to uh, my fish so you can see with your own eyes what kind of a change or improvement that creates. So stay tuned for that, my friends. Now let's take a look at uh, another product from Cobalt that I'm uh, pretty excited about. For those of you who live in areas that experience power outages, uh, this, is, uh, this could be very crucial for you. Take a look. Cobalt is also introducing something called Rescue Air. This doesn't need a power outlet. You can actually charge uh, off of a USB. It also comes with a, with a with a battery power pack here, this little lighter looking thing on the left here. And that can go 72 hours, or you can go off the USB charging for 24 hours. For those of you in areas that have power outages, this is crucial. Or if you're transferring fish, let's say in a tub from one place to another, uh, this is a very cool product. So the cool thing about this guy is it already comes charged. And if you have it plugged into the wall and the power goes out, 
it will automatically turn on. So if you don't have to be home to adjust or plug it in or check the batteries, if it's plugged into the wall, the air stone's going into your aquarium, it will automatically turn on if it senses power interruption. And you just press this, it's on. The other option that you have besides it constant on is 10 second delay. So if you press that again, it'll turn on for 10 seconds, turn off for 10 seconds. So it actually prolongs the battery life of the pump. And the, the cool thing about it being a USB, is if you're traveling, you can actually have it go right to your car outlet, the USB connector, and it'll work great. It's available in three sizes, actually. So you got the single, you got the rescue air, and you got the dual. All of them last, these last 24 hours, this one lasts 72 hours. Well, here in Houston with storms and power outages, that's got to be a hot product. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's got a little clip on there, so you can yeah. clip it on the side of things. And uh, very, I mean, no more D batteries. No, nice. Nothing to worry about. So all you do is plug it in, it's good to go. I like that power interruption sensor. That's, that's pretty high tech for something that small. Yeah, and you know what? Nobody's taking the power or the air pump to the next level. And what do you need to do when you're not at home? If you're at home, you can figure out something. But when you're not at home and it goes out, this is what you need. That's where the problem is. Yeah. Yep. yeah so, you're away for the weekend. You come back and fish your dead. Yeah, it's about $25 retail for this guy. And the rescue air that includes a, a whole kit of airstone battery and everything is about $45. Yeah. So the little guy, $24 retail. And these are shipping about 30 days, so this is a sneak peek before anybody sees them. This isn't even on the market yet. Not even on the market. We're, we're launching them in August. For Ten extra dollars, you get all that extra technology. It's like a yep. little brainer. Exactly. And you don't have to manage the batteries. If it leaks or whatever, it's just inside here, and you don't have to worry about it. Very cool. So. All right, folks, if you're coming to the ACA, visit Cobalt Aquatics. we got some hot products here, folks. Our friends over at Fritz Aquatics, uh, Fritz Aquatics has a new product. For those of you who like to use salt in your aquariums, either on a regular basis or for treating uh, fish, uh, fish disease, uh, here's a product that I think you're going to be interested in. Take a look. So this is the Fritz Aquatic, uh, Fritz Aquatic display. A lot of good quality Fritz products here. As those of you who watch my video, you know that it's the Fritz Mardell product that got me out of the Colomeros that I was into. And there's a new product here that they don't even have a label for yet. And I've recruited, what was your name again? Brandon Hooten to tell me a little bit about it. Brandon, tell me about that, uh, what you know about that. Hey guys, I'm Brandon with Fritz. Um, nice to see all of you. <laughs> um, but we've got a new cichlid salt that we're unveiling. Uh, it should be available within the next month or so. Um, like, I, like he told you just now, we don't have a label for it yet. Uh, this is our very first time that's ever even seen the public. Uh, so if you're coming to Houston, it's a great time to sit down and talk with me about this. Uh, we've got a probiotic cichlid salt that's available, uh, going to be available soon. And so uh, there's probiotics actually dried to the salts. Um, these are going to be able to work for any of your African lakes. Um, so we have basically different dosages for each lake. Lake Tanganyika will take X amount. Lake Malawi will take another amount. Um, so basically this is an all around perfect for African salt. Um, and it's going to be able to uh, keep all your trace minerals and keep those probiotics that are in there going to definitely help with coloration, with growth, things of that nature. Um, our lab has told me that they had some success with testing and, uh, you know, they did some, some uh, batches of fry where they were growing them up in these salts and they had, you know, one tank with the salt, one tank without the salt. And uh, they saw some pretty awesome results as far as coloration and uh, rate of growth. And so we're seeing some really positive results with this one. I'm really excited to have it here and really excited to meet all of you guys if you come down. So thanks so much, man. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Brent. Thanks Absolutely. a lot. Yeah. So for those of you who like treating your tank with salt, here's a new product to keep in mind. I love the probiotic aspect of it. So check it out. Come down to the ACA or look up Fritz. Thank you, Brandon. I'm excited to hear some of the uh, feedback that you get on the release of that new product. It looks pretty exciting. Now, for some of you who live in hotter climates uh, and, and keep aquariums outdoors, uh, if you follow my videos, you know I have a, uh, an outdoor uh, quarantine tank. Uh, temperature, temperatures in Southern California are getting up around 100 and over 100 in some parts. That can really overheat an aquarium. Some people will float a, uh, a frozen water bottle and uh, run fans, things of this nature. Zoomed has an interesting solution. Take a look. I'm here at the Zoomed, the Zoomed booth at the American Cichlid Association. And um, you know, I, I use the Zoomed Sperlina products, but 
There's one product in particular that caught my attention. It's this one here. It's called the Aqua Cool. Aqua Cool. Over in Southern California, we're experiencing temperatures of about 100, 105 degrees. For those of you who have outdoor tanks, uh, this might be a godsend for you. I've been floating frozen ice bottles and things like this, running fans, but this thing here looks like it uh, will actually turn on and help keep your aquarium cool. Running some cool air over the aquarium and uh, definitely a uh, definitely a good idea and certainly a lot less expensive than a chiller which can run hundreds of dollars. Thank you Zoomed and uh, you folks know I use the uh, I use their uh, products, their Spirulina products, and in the past I've used some of their sweeping power heads, things of this nature. Good company, they deal with a lot of uh, reptile as well as fish products. And uh, I'm going to try that product out with my outside aquarium because I'm running fans and doing all kinds of things when the temperature gets really hot and those, uh, those uh, younger fish or quarantine fish get up in the 90s, you know, high 80s and low 90s. Uh, that's just too hot, so I need some way to cool them down. All right, so there you have it. Uh, for those of you that made it to the ACA, uh, you got to see got to see some of this firsthand. I thought I'd share it with you folks that couldn't make it. Uh, come come join the uh, the meeting next year, and uh, certainly join the American Cichlid Association. Good group doing good things for fish. Thank you so much. Bye bye.